Hey everybody, welcome back to another vlog. We have a few incidents to tell you about that happened over the past week, and Connor's gonna tell us about vehicles that crashed into buildings. That's right, we had two of them, two trucks crashing into buildings. So the first one I'm going to tell you about, we also responded with West Metro Fire on this call, but a truck crashed through the front of a Qdoba restaurant on West Bulls Avenue. The driver was transported to the hospital for evaluation. Thankfully, no one was injured in the restaurant and the structure was stable. The other incident to tell you about, a driver backed through the front of an Einstein's restaurant at Dry Creek and University. One person had minor injuries but did not need to be transported to the hospital and the structure was looked at and was stable and was not at risk of collapsing. Our firefighters also responded to a house fire in Littleton this week. Tower 32, engine 11, engine 13, medic 11, battalion chief 2, safety 18, metcom ops 3, unconfirmed residential structure fire, map page R21C 3484, West Powers Avenue, battalion 2 metcom. Battalion 2. RP on site stating that they had a fire in the laundry room located in the basement. They're based off of the information from the RP. We're going to go ahead and put this as confirmed. Yeah, I can see a little smoke in there. Let's take Engine 16, West Metro Engine 12, Medic 12, Battalion Chief 1, Confirmed Residential Structure Fire. Down Engine 11. Engine 11. We have a small one-story residential structure. We've got smoke short to the Charlie side. Uh, this will be a working fire, engine level will be powers command, will be in offensive mode. Yeah. As crews were responding, they observed smoke in the air, and when they arrived, they had heavy smoke showing from all entry points of the home and identified that there was a basement fire in a laundry room. The first arriving engine did a transitional attack from the outside through a basement window to cool everything down and make it safer for a second hose line and crews to make entry through the front door, make their way down into the basement and finish extinguishing the fire while primary searches were completed. All of those searches were clear, no one was injured, and a pet turtle was reunited with its humans. And the cause of that fire is still under investigation. Very excited to share with you about two new members that were sworn into South Metro Fire Rescue this week, but Eric, they didn't raise their hands, they raised their paws. <laughs> this is a look at our swearing in ceremony for our emergency responder service dogs. One of the quality people we received from Cunningham Fire was JP PJ. He's the first member from Cunningham to join our South Metro Peer Support Team. In early 2018, he approached me about the idea of having an emergency responder service dog program um, because of his experience with the service dogs. And so after a, a, really a verbal proposal to Chief Baker and Chief Jackson, um, gave us the thumbs up and uh, pardon the pun, but we hit all four, all four paws on the ground <laughs> at that point. And, uh, so this is uh, Molson and JPPJ. And then as we, so as we carry forward, we're really able to add our second dog, Molson, um, with engineer Gerald Wildman, so earlier this year. Um, and our, our goal and intent is to have a dog on each shift, so across all three shifts. Uh, the dog lives with the handler 24 seven and also um, responds to work with the, with the handler. Um, and really, so it, it's, it's sort of a unique experience in, um, after a call, uh, and the most recent experience I'll use actually is um, our STEM shooting. So um, Jared came to Metcom with with uh, Champ, 
and just allowed Champ to roam through MedPom while our dispatchers were handling that STEM shooting call, right? And so just that nonverbal, tactile um, ability to diffuse and de-stress is pretty significant and remarkable. And um, so honestly, we think it's going to be a pretty valuable program here at South Metro. So, so with that, Barb. So Molson and Champ, they were sworn in, took their oath of office with their handlers. In the fire service, there are high rates of post-traumatic stress injuries as well as suicide. So we are trying to do everything we can to prevent that from happening. And this is one way that allows the dogs to come and connect with the firefighters or staff that have gone through a hard time, allows them to spend time with the dogs and to diffuse from those situations and to continue with the recovery process. We have two patch shout outs for you this week. The first one that I have is Southwest Fire District in Allen County, Indiana. What and do you have? Yes, the second one is Amboy Fire and that is in Indiana. So thank you so much. Our patch collection is growing. We are uh, about to continue it onto the next row of patches that we've collected here in our office. Thank you so much for sending us the patches and we've been having a great time answering questions, not only here on YouTube, but a bunch of questions on our Instagram account too. So if you haven't checked that out, see all the photographs that we have and everything that's going on there and we're happy to talk to you there as well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.